Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to model a simple bottle in Autodesk Fusion 360. Now, as usual, we're going to start a sketch on the origin plane. So I'm going to come over here to origin, and I'm going to click on the XY plane, and I'm going to come up here and select Create Sketch to start a sketch on this plane. From here, I'm going to come up to Line, and I'm going to select the origin. I'm then going to drag up this line, and I want to make this 340 millimeters. So I'm going to type in 340 and hit enter. If I zoom out with my middle mouse wheel, I can see that my line is 340 millimeters. So let me move this over to the side. And let me add a couple more lines to describe the shape of the bottle. I'm going to come and select the line tool again. And I'm going to drag out a line from here that's 20 millimeters long type in 20 and hit enter. And I can double click on this dimension and type in 25 to dial that dimension up. And I'm going to create another line and drag it to about here. And then hit escape, come down to this tab for create. And when you come down here, you'll see some options for a three point arc. So I'm gonna click on three point arc I'm going to select this point, and the next place I'm going to select is about here, and you're going to see that my arc is created. Now I can drag this arc around and place it where I want it to go. I want it to go about here, so I'm just going to click down, and from here I want to create a couple more lines. Let's drag down. Now, you can see that between this arc and this line, there's a sharp here because these two lines are not continuous with each other. If you hold down the shift key, you can click on the first one, hold down shift and click on the second. And you can come up here to constraints and you can click on this button called tangent and that will make the two lines tangent to each other. There is now continuity between these two lines. So what I can do is, because of the fact that this point is moving around, I can click on it, and I can click on this Fix button here, and that's going to fix this point here. That way I can drag this line to where I want it to go. Now let's say I want to place it about here for now. And we're going to end off the shape with um, a bit of a uh, sort of revolve texture and the way we're going to do that is I'm going to come to line click on this point drag out drag down and across down and across down and across and down and across for last time now drag this to the bottom where the red line is here click down and then put the last point of the line back on the origin and you're going to see that we now have a closed shape. I want to add a couple constraints here. So I'm going to select this line, hold down shift and select this line, as well as these two lines, and this line as well. And with all of those selected, I can hit this equal sign here under constraints, and you're going to see that all of a sudden, all of these lines are now equal to each other. So if you change the dimension of one of these lines, the dimension of all of them will change. Come over to Sketch Dimension here, under the Sketch tab, and set a dimension for this line to be, let's say, 30 millimeters. You're going to see that they all change accordingly. Now, I want to change this line here, but you can see that the rest of the lines are not in line with this one. So click on the bottom point of this one, top point of this, and the top point of this one, and you can click on this constraint called horizontal slash vertical, and that's going to make them vertical with each other. You can also select the same point here on the other side between these two. And now if I move this line, you can see that all the lines move with it. So I want to place this about here 
and I want to set a dimension sketch dimension click on this line and let's make this three millimeters and you can see that now we have an evenness between our lines because of those few dimensions that we've added so from here we can hit finish sketch and I can come over to where it says revolve and you can see that the profile for our revolve has already been selected automatically because we have a closed shape I can click on axis which I want to be this line and you can see that this now revolves the shape in 3D so let's hit OK and from here I now have my 3D shape so what I want to do from here is orbit so I'm going to click down here where it says orbit and that's going to allow me to move this around in 3D in order to select some of the edges that I want to change the first thing we want to do is we want to come over to where it says fill it click on fill it and let's click on this bottom edge here and if I move this arrow up you can see that I can actually change a dimension of this bottom of the of the part now let's set it to about 20 millimeters and hit OK and if I come back to orbit and look here from the bottom I can select a couple more edges for my fillet so let's select this edge this edge here I can actually look inside the part and select this edge this edge this bottom edge this bottom edge this bottom edge here this edge and these two edges and with all of those edges selected I can move this arrow and as you can see the fillets are now propagating along those sharp edges which is what we want so 45 looks like a very smooth shape I'm actually going to dial it down a little bit to let's say about 40 millimeters and at 40 millimeters I'm going to hit OK and if I orbit this part once more you can see that we've created a sort of uh, finger grip very simple example of a finger grip type thing for our bottle so from here we have this 3D shape but you won't be able to pour any water in here because of the fact that it's completely solid so we want to hollow out this shape the way we're going to do it is using a tool called the shell tool now I'll show you how that works right now come over here to shell and click on the shell tool now select this top face you may wonder why I'm selecting this top face the reason is because this shell tool hollows out the part by selecting the face I'm choosing the face that I want to get rid of before I make the rest of this a shell just like the name suggests so let's see what that looks like I'm gonna select this top face and if you look over here on the right you can set an inside thickness to be let's say two millimeters and I'm gonna hit OK and it's that simple I can come down here to orbit again it's that simple to create a hollow shape and that's going to be very advantageous to us as we go forward because now we can add liquid to our bottle let's create a thread for this bottle so that we can screw on a bottle cap the easiest way to do this is to come over to the create tab click on it and now select thread from the drop down menu once you're in the thread wizard you can select from a couple different options for creating your thread the first thing to do is to select the face as mentioned right here whenever you see a blue rectangle it it's always because you need to select a face or an edge or a body or something so we want to select this face because this is the neck in which we want to create our thread 
let's click on it. Now, the second thing that you want to click on is this little checkbox for modeled. Modeled means that the thread is going to actually come up in your part geometry. If you don't select this, it'll merely be illustrative. So when we click on it, we see that it's actually been modeled into our part design. Now the size here is 50 millimeters. That size is the diameter of the neck, but we want this to be larger. Reason being that there's no neck right now. You can actually see right through the part because it's being cut away. So if we up this to 52 millimeters, and up it to 55 millimeters and up it even to 56 millimeters, we see that our neck comes back, which is something that we need for our uh, thread to uh, exist. If the neck is too uh, small of a diameter, it, it will simply disappear, like we saw with the 50 millimeter example. So we want to up this to a size that's going to be large enough to accept the thread and to also be thick enough to not crack when we attach our bottle cap. For right now, let's leave it at 58 millimeters. So from here, let's go to designation. Now what this means here is four millimeters is specifying the dimension of the thread itself and the distance between the teeth of the thread. Right now it's set at four. Now if we set it to three, you're going to see a lot more threads propagating. Because of the fact that this is for a bottle cap and it's going to be injection molded or it's going to be uh, blow molded, we're going to leave it at four for right now, for this example. And we're going to make sure that the direction is set to right hand, leave class the way it is, and we're going to hit OK. And you're going to see, using Orbit, that our thread has been created. Our bottle thread has been created, what we want to do is inspect our part to be sure that the thicknesses and the size of the thread are big enough that they're not going to break or cause any problems either in manufacturing or in use. The way that we're going to do that is by coming up to these tabs and clicking on tools. Once you're in tools, there are a lot of different options here. Now, we're going to get to these hopefully in later videos, but one of the simple ones that you can start using now, which is very easy, is to select Section Analysis. Let's click on Section Analysis. And if I come over here to one of these planes, the origin planes that we originally started our sketch on, and I click on it, it's going to cut my part right in half. So let's hit OK. And if I look at this using this cube, I can come over and I can inspect my thread and I can look at it and I can look at the wall thickness and I can determine if this thread is not going to break. I can de determine the sizing, the length, and I can look at it from a perspective that I can't normally. So this is very useful. You can also look at different sections of your bottle. You can look at the bottom of it and see if you need any modifications to it. Maybe we want to create a dimple here for better balance. Or maybe we want to make sure that these waves here are large enough for our fingers to hold. So there's a lot that you can see in a cross section. And that's a very useful tool to use. To exit out of the analysis tool, come over to the analysis tab, click on this arrow, right click on section and click delete. That sums up our tutorial on how to create a bottle in Autodesk Fusion 360. Thanks for watching.